What's your name? Miss Kim. All right, sister. How you doing, sister? All right, so you know who you are in the, in the scripture? I do. Oh, I you know. do? Okay, so the brother was bringing out it's a righteous thing to recompense those that trouble you. That's a mighty point. Um, Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 35 and verse, start at verse 3. You give me Colossians 3 and 17. Uh, right? Let me get that first. This is the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 17. Uh -huh. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, uh -huh. do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Yahweh Shai is how you say the name Jesus in the Paleo Hebrew, the name he would have spoke. Because he was a Hebrew Israelite, according to the Bible, right? So I'm going to read this since the brother brought out their point. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 35 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Strengthen ye strengthen ye the weak hands. The what? The weak hands. And we have weak hands. We have been made to have weak hands. What, what power do the so-called black hispanic and native american have today yeah, what no. military force do we have none. We have none. what fighter jets what army what submarine which bomb do we have what power do we have if a country wants to go to war against the so-called black people in america right now how will we defend ourselves with dracos and glocks with switches huh we have no strength in our hand uh, right Reed? And confirm the feeble knees. The what? The feeble, feeble knees. knees. And our knees are tired. I'm young and I'm tired. That's the bad part. I ain't even made it to my 30s yet and I'm tired. Uh, I'm, I, my knees are feeble. What about y'all? Yeah. yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. Right, read. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. A what? A, a fearful, fearful heart. heart. And a lot of our people have a fearful heart. A lot of our people scared of the white man. They ain't going to say it. Right. Right. Police get behind you. They... Shit, tighten up. Right? They ain't gonna say it. They gonna act hard with their brothers and their sisters, right? They gonna puff their chest out at them. But right. against the so-called white man, nope. they don't do that. They don't do that. They don't keep the same energy that we have towards each other for them, and they the one shooting us down, oppressing us, redlining us, and everything else. We have no power in our hands, and our knees are feeble. Read. Be strong. Be what? Be, be strong. strong. For the, two. the Lord says, be strong. Why? Fear not. Uh -huh. The hope. Your God. Your, uh, who God? Your, Your God. God. The children of Israel's God. Right? Read. Will come with vengeance. With what? Will with come vengeance. with vengeance. Will come with vengeance. Because of all the oppression and the destruction and the assimilation and the segregation and just getting our backs beat in like we have. He says, read again. Your God will what? Will come with vengeance. Uh huh. Even. God with a recompense. With a what? With, with a, a recompense. recompense. And he's going to recompense all those who trouble us. As it says in 2 Thessalonians, what, 1 and 6? That's right. Right? He's going to he's gonna recompense all those that trouble us. All the people that put us on slave ships, they use this as gator bait. It's not just the white man. In Mecca, it was the largest slave, slave port in the world. The Arabian man, right? All these people had us in the slavery because the Lord said we would be sold and to all nations, right? So he said, I'm coming with a recompense to all those that trouble you. Small that he will come and save you. And what? And save, save you. Uh-huh. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open. And then he says, Hey, I'm gonna come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind, the people who can't see, who walk in darkness, right? What is that darkness? Right? Hey, give me, give me, give me Proverbs 6 and 23. The people that walk in darkness. The people that don't have a true understanding uh, of the light. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the commandment is a lamp. What's the light? The commandment is a lamp. Read. And the law is light. The people that walk without the laws of God. Because the Christianity church tells you that the laws of God are done away with. Right? They say you don't have to live by that law no more. What are you saying? That means I can kill now. I can steal now. I, we can rape now. No. We can do what we want to do if the laws are done away with, right? No, because he gave you one law. What did I say that? Yeah, he gave you one law. What law is that? Love one another. Oh. And in that law, all the rest of the laws are in there. Mm -hmm. Because if you love one another, mm -hmm. you're not going to steal, you're not going to kill, you're not going to you know, So, you So you do believe we have to keep all the laws and commandments of no, God? I don't. I believe that, that Jesus Christ that freed us from the law. Yeah, I believe he freed 
Second John. Give me the book of uh, Romans chapter God thirteen and verse eight. Much better covenant than they had. Who got Romans thirteen and eight? I'm gonna show you something. I'm there. This is the book of Romans chapter thirteen and verse eight. Uh huh. Oh, no man anything. Uh huh. Oh, no man anything uh -huh. but to love one another. But to what? But to love uh -huh. one another. Uh -huh. Give me the book of Romans chapter three and thirty one. Oh. No man anything but to love one another. So like you said, sister, we got to love one another, right? Yeah. All right, read. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Have what? Have fulfilled the law. So if I love you, sister Kim, I'm going to fulfill the law, right? Read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not kill. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not steal. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not covet. Uh -huh. And if there be any other commandment. If there be what? If there be any other commandment. One more time. If there be any other commandment. Read. It is briefly comprehended in this. Uh -huh. Saying, uh -huh. namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So when you sum up all the laws together, they all go back to loving your neighbor, right? Give me the book of Duda, uh, uh, do the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17 real quick. Excuse and me. then Deuteronomy. Yes, ma'am. saying the same thing? Um, no, no, no. Not exactly. Not exactly. I'm going I'm to show you. I'm going to show you. I promise. Okay. Let's, let's be patient with your, right. little, your, your nephew. I'm going to show you. All right? All right. Romans, Romans chapter 3 and verse 31. All right. Do we then make void the law? Make void the what? The law. So do we. What does it mean to void something? Yeah, to go away with to discontinue yeah. so that's a question mark behind it right huh. it says do we then make void the law right read through faith through what through, through faith. faith we have faith right so now do we make void the law meaning discontinue it annul it do away with it stop doing the law because we have faith right what does it say god forbid god what god, god forbid. forbid god forbid we stop keeping the laws of god right read Yay! We establish the law. How do you establish the law? By actually doing it and teaching it. Right? Now we're not teaching animal sacrifice. Okay, but if what? you live by the law, you gotta you gotta do the whole law. What 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 you can't just follow me. have of the law if you live by the law? What 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 have don't we do? Brothers up here keep the feast days of the Lord. That's right. We don't rape women, right? That's right. That's hold on, hold on. That's a law. That is. It teaches a, one law is to wear a beard on your face. That's a law. One law is for our women to wear be modest and wear dresses and skirts. Right. Another is for a man not to put on the clothes that a woman's supposed to be. Right. We not cross dressing, are we? No. Nope. All right. I'm Another not. law is to wear fringes. Right. Right. Uh, right? What? Right. Another law is not to eat any abominable food. Do any brothers eat abominable food? Over? Right. Ah, these, are, these are commandments of God. That we keep. Give me the book of Judges, chapter five and verse eleven. Huh? You have to be patient. Let me let me show you something. You got Judges five and eleven. Give me a uh uh I think it's what it says uh as a little child. Hundred seventeen. Let me see. Let me see. This is the book of Judges, chapter five and verse number eleven. Right. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing water. Archers going into war. The people that are delivered from the place of war. In the place of drawing waters, drawing the people that draw waters in the scriptures were slaves. So the people that are delivered from slavery and the land of war were what? There, there shall they go so in a place where they are gonna be enslaved, they're gonna what? There, there shall they rehearse. We what? Rehearse. The rehearse means to practice, right? The righteous acts of the Lord. And in that place, we're going to rehearse the righteous acts, sister. Right? right. The, the commandments of God are not a grievous thing. Yeah. First John 5 and 3. That right? Is. What you have? What you have? Uh, you got that, what I'm talking about? Yep. Let me see. Let me see. It's, it's right. All right. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself uh -huh. as this little child. As this what? As this little child. Uh -huh. The same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So uh, to humble yourself as a little child is going into children of blank canvases, right? You can teach them everything accordingly to the scriptures, right? We understand. We read Paul's letters. I'm going to show you something. Give me the book of, uh, uh, of, of Peter, 
First Peter 3 and 14. 3 and 15. Right? What I had you got? This is the book of First John. Chapter 5 and 3. Chapter 5 and verse number 3. Uh -huh. And it reads, For this... Hey, start, start at 2. Verse number 2. By this we know that we love the children of God. Uh -huh. When we love God uh -huh. and keep yeah, his God. commandments. So you know you love your God oh, and you know you love your brothers and sisters when you keep God's oh, commandments. Because really, follow me, all the commandments in the law or literally go to how you're supposed to act with one another exactly and that's so, why he said i give you this one law that and we read in romans 13 and 8 if there be any other law it is briefly comprehended in this it's all wrapped up in that one law by saying what right it, but it says if there be any other law it is briefly comprehended in this love thy neighbor as thyself there are other laws he asked him what is the greatest he never gave us one commandment Go to Matthew 22 and 36. Okay, All right, go ahead. This oh, yeah, keep reading that. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Jesus this is the book of First John 5, verse number 2. For this we know that we I'm, love. Uh, We're going to go to it. I the, promise. Okay. The children of God, uh -huh. when we love God and keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God, sister. That we keep his commandments. That we what? That, that we keep his, his commandments. And read. And his commandments. Are not, not grievous. Are not what? Are, are not, not grievous. So his commandments are not hard to do. Now give me Matthew 22 and 36. I'm going to show you what happens. You don't have to look for this here right here. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36. Uh -huh. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? No, what's the only commandment? Which is the great commandment in the law? No, one commandment, brother. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So he's not asking them. He's not telling them to give you one law. A, a lawyer came and asked Christ, which is the greatest law in the commandment. He never said the only law. He said, what is the greatest? That's the first point. Read. God. It says, Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Hold up. Go to Leviticus 19 and 17. So he, pay attention to this. Please pay attention closely. He said, what's the greatest law? So is that a new law or an old law? Is that law? Is it a law that's found in the Old Testament? Yes, it's a law that's found in the Old Testament. Read it. Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse seventeen. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. As thyself. As thy what? As, as thyself. thyself. So the Lord commands us in Leviticus 19 and 17 to love thy neighbor as thyself. In Matthew 26, I mean 36, and Mark 12, he asked him, what's the greatest commandment? And Christ gives him two that are the greatest, but he never told him the only. Read. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. And with all that mind. Hey, give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. That's right. Read it one more time. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. He's quoting something. Let's see. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy. Who? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the last book in the law. It's the fifth book. Right? Chapter 6. Verse number four. Uh -huh. Hear, O Israel, uh -huh. the Lord our God is one Lord, uh -huh. and thou shalt love the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart, with all thy what, with, with all, all thy heart, heart. Uh -huh. and with all thy soul, uh -huh. and with all thy might. Uh huh. So the Lord is saying, you have to love me with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. When this lawyer asked Christ, "What is the great commandment and the law?" He gave him those two, right? He never said that's the only things you have to keep. But if you do that, if you do those correctly, you will be keeping the laws of God. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 7. This is Christ speaking. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, until heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. One jot or one tittle. Who was he talking to? He's talking to the children of Israel. Follow this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me follow this. He says one jot or one tittle. 
meaning the smallest detail, right? Right. right? Read this. Shall in no wise pass from the law uh, to all be fulfilled. To all be what? To, to all, all be, be fulfilled. fulfilled. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments. If you do what? Break one, one of, of the least commandments. So hold on. He's saying whosoever shall break one of the least commandments. He said until, you, until it's fulfilled. He fulfilled. I'm going to show you what he fulfilled, sister. All right? Because okay. all, first off, all has not been fulfilled. Let me show you how. Has Christ came back? No. That has and not been fulfilled. But he, he have, heard, hold on. Heard, have heard, all heard, the prophecies. He said, he yes, ma'am. I'm a okay, on that level. If, okay. if you be patient with me, okay. I'm going to show you what he fulfilled, okay? But all has not been fulfilled. Christ hasn't come back. No, we right. haven't been that's before right. the great white throne of judgment. It's right. still prophecies that have to come to pass. Right. So all has not been fulfilled. And and that's another one. Heaven and earth has not. Give me Revelation 21 and 1. Just to show you that point. But he, he was talking about as right. far as this new covenant goes. He, I'm a, I'm a, he, he made a new covenant with us. We're going to get to that. Hold on. One, this is, one at a time. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 21, verse 1. Uh -huh. And I saw a new heaven. A uh, what? A new heaven. Uh -huh. And a new earth. Uh -huh. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. So, he says, read it again. The one jot on one tittle shall no wise pass from the law uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass. So, like, read it again. So I think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, yeah, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one till shall in no wise uh -huh. pass from the law uh -huh. till all be fulfilled. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments. People will look at Francis like it's a least commandment. A man having a beard on his face like a least commandment. But how can it but say Hold on, we gonna, we, we'll, we'll show you how, we'll show you how, read. As the end shall teach men so, uh -huh. he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So if you break the commandments, the least commandment, and you teach men to break the least commandment, you will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But read. But whosoever shall do uh -huh. and teach them, uh -huh. the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But if you do and teach even the least commandment, you will be called the greatest in the kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven, right? We skip over that part. Let me show you what Christ fulfilled. Luke. See the book of Acts chapter 3 and what, 18? Uh, 19? Luke chapter 24 and verse 44. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, uh -huh. These are the words, Christ speaking, These are the words which I spake unto you uh -huh. while I was yet with you, Read. that all things must be fulfilled. Must be what? Must be fulfilled. Must what? Must be fulfilled. Read. Which were written in the law of Moses. Uh -huh. And in the prophets. Read. And in the song. Read. Concerning me. Concerning who? Concerning me. That's what Christ fulfilled. He fulfilled the things that were written of him concerning him. Only on his first trip. Because the things on his second trip, he hasn't filled yet. He hasn't came back yet. With the chariots of God. He have not came back with all the hosts of, of heaven. He so, so read that part again. He fulfilled the things that were written of him, sister. Okay, right? and what's written? He brought salvation. So, Luke 1 and 68. Brother had read that to you. Brother had read that to you. Luke 1 and 68. What is salvation, sister? Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, that God here. He is the Son of God, and God raised him from the dead. No, that's part of how you get salvation, but that's not salvation. What's, uh, salvation is being saved. From it's what? being saved from see? that great Bring it evil up. day, for one thing. Okay, well, let's see. Saved from, um, let's see. Read. This is the book of Luke, uh, chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh, Bless be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of oh, Israel. Israel. Read. So this oh. salvation is blessed be the Lord God of Israel, right? For he have visited and redeemed his people, uh -huh. and have raised up a horn of salvation for us. And what? A horn, horn of, of salvation, salvation for us. The brother read that part. A horn represents strength or power, right? Of salvation for Israel, right? Read. In the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of the holy prophet. So the same thing. Christ is that horn of salvation that's been raised up from us in the house of David, from the seed line of David. Right, as he spake, he said, he told it to all the prophets 
And all of a sudden, he told them this, right? That I'm going to raise you up a prophet that you're going to listen to him. And do not make do not make if the Lord done away, we're going to have to listen. you saying that he's just a prophet? Who? Jesus. I didn't, what did I say that? Now, I, I'm asking. I, I, I'm I, 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 here. I'm trying to clarify. Do it around 18, 18. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to show you what I mean. Let me, uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask oh. you this. Who do you say Jesus is? Who do you say he is? Give me the book of Daniel chapter 3 and 25. I go to the Lord, dude. Uh, you got it? It's the book of Daniel chapter 3 and verse number 25. Uh, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men, men loose uh, walking in the midst of fire. Uh-huh. And they have no hurt. Uh huh. And the form of the fourth. And the form of the what? And the form of the fourth is what? Is like the Son of God. It's like the what? Is like the Son of God. That's who we say he is. Okay, so you say he is the Son of God. Yes, ma'am. Right? Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. And as the Son of God, he's not just a prophet, but. I never said that. No, no, no. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. And he died and he rose again. With all power in his hand, and he brought us salvation. Okay, mm. because he paid for our sins he hasn't, on that cross. He hasn't brought us salvation. Matter of fact, the first scripture I read says your God will come and, and save, save you when he comes with vengeance. Mm. That's what it said. Then ain't that what it said? That's exactly what it said. So so let's let's finish so hold up. Let's finish getting the biblical did we not say he's the son of God? He's yep. the son of God, yes, but you're saying that he hasn't come. Let's, let's read it. Luke 1 and verse 70, continuing on. Uh -huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, uh -huh. which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be should Should be what? Should, should be saved. Hey, Matthew 24, 13. That we should be saved. Not saved, but should be saved. Read from our enemy. Well, who are we going to be saved from? Our, our enemy. enemy. Read. And from the hands of all that hate us. See, God said, I will scatter you and, and you will be enslaved by your enemies. Salvation is when you get saved from, you. from your enemies. That's right. When Moses and Moses and uh, what is that? Uh, Exodus 12 or 14. He said, come, I will show you. The salvation of my God when he delivered the children of Israel from the slavery from the Egyptians. Salvation is when we get delivered from our enemy. That's so right. the place that we are enslaved at, salvation is when you get delivered from there. Then you will have a chance to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right, sister. Right? Kingdom of heaven, like the brother brought God, what, Deuteronomy 11? That's uh -huh. when you in your land right, um, right? Matthew. our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come on, on earth, earth. right Hold up, follow, me, follow me follow me follow me follow me follow me this is the book of matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. Uh -huh. this is christ speaking Read. but he that shall endure unto the end uh -huh. the same shall be saved shall shall that's future so I can understand because I know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is actually a part of the Old Testament, even though it's in the New Testament. Because he was I, talking, he was not. I disagree, talking. sister. Okay. Matt, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are just uh, a uh, witness to the counts of life, and Luke are, is a. Uh, but it, he was talking. He, he until he, Jesus died and rose again. That starts the New Testament. First, first, first let me tell you this: it's so, no, it's no, it's no separation in the Bible of a New and an Old Testament. Right, that's a man made it's an thing. Old covenant. It's a, it's a old covenant. Hebrews 8 and 8. Hebrews 8 and 8. And we it's, are in the new covenant. I, I, we are not we in let, the We're going to let the Bible speak, sister. All right? Follow not, this. is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, and verse number 8. Uh -huh. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come. The days what? The days come. No, it's already come. The days come. Uh huh. Saith the Lord. Uh huh. When I will make a new covenant. Uh huh. With the house of Israel. Uh huh. And with the house of Judah. Read. Not concerning to the covenant that I made with their fathers uh -huh. in the day when I took them from the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Read. Because they continued not in my covenant. Uh -huh. And I regarded them not, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Read. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. So he says, this is the covenant that I will make. So this is the book of Hebrew. He said, I will 
make a new covenant. It's not going to be like the old one, but he's going to give you a couple of details on this covenant. Three. I will make a covenant with the house of Israel after those days, saith the most high. Right. I will put my laws into their mind. So if the laws are in your mind, you know them. Do you know the laws of God? Damn, that's, that's not the law. That's not. But because I don't, I don't have to live by the law. I don't that's, have to live by the law. That's not. What, that's not. That's not. When I love my brother and sister, you I are sister Kim, the law. That's not what we had. I asked you. I said, do you know the laws of God? Because God said the new covenant is when I place the laws in your mind, right? Read. God, I will. I will put my laws into their minds uh -huh. and write them into their hearts. We will know them. We will want to do them because they will be in our heart. They will be in our mind and our heart, which is the same thing. We will want to do them, right? We will know them, right? Read. And I will be to them a God, and uh -huh. they shall be my people. That's the kicker. And they shall not teach every man. They shall what? They, they shall, shall not teach. They shall what? They shall not teach. We are still teaching. Even the Christians still going to church trying to get something taught that they ain't learning nothing. Right? No, I'm one of them. And I learned a lot. We're still teaching. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Uh -huh. And every man his brother uh -huh. say, Know the Lord. Right? Know the Lord. Right? For know the Lord. No, read again. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord. Uh -huh. For all shall know me. For what? For all shall know me. And everybody don't know God. All of us. Look, look, look. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Everybody don't know God. So if everybody don't know God and we still teaching the word of God saying no God we still have to go out and minister to our people exactly. right that we're not in the New Testament yet. Exactly. the New Testament the old is ready to die but we're not in the New Testament okay. well, you, I, can't, I can't I can't get with you there I can't well, I'll you hey, hey 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 look 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 I'm gonna leave you with this I'm gonna leave you with this uh I'm gonna leave you with two scriptures sister Kim Revelation 14 and 12 Luke 13 and 3 God Revelation. This is the book of Revelation. Uh -huh. Chapter 13, 14. This is the book of Luke, Revelation, chapter 14, and verse number 12. Bring it out. And it reads, Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are all they that keep the commandments of God. That do what? That keep the commandments of God. Read. And your faith is the faith of Jesus. And the what? And the she didn't hear it. She didn't hear it. Read it again. Here is the patience oh, of the yeah, saints. Yeah, yeah. Here are all they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So you have to keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus because faith without works is what? Dead. All right. And give me, do you know, give me first John 3 and 4. Read this. Luke 13 and 3. Uh -huh. I tell you nay, uh -huh. but except you repent, uh -huh. ye shall uh -huh. Now he said, except you repent. What do you repent for, Sister Count? Your sins. Let's see what sins is. This is the book of First John, chapter three, verse four. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin. Uh -huh. Hold on. So this is sin, Sister Kim. Read this. this Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you break God's law. Are you supposed to sin, Sister Kim? No. Are you supposed to keep the law? So except you repent of your sins, what? I tell you nay. But except you repent. You shall all like God's parents. So if you don't repent from your sins, Sister Kim, you're going to die. That goes not just for you, that's for us too. And that's quite so Unless you repent of your sins, you can say I have faith, Luke 6, 46. Uh, uh, Sorry, 32 and 24. You can say I have faith all day long. You can say I'm not under this, I'm not under that. But at the end of the day, you will be judged according to this, right? This is the book. Of Luke uh -huh. chapter 6 and verse number 46. Read. It's a lot. God, it's all right. Take your time. Take your time. The wind messes you up. Turn this way. Now read that. Read that. the book of Psalm what? Chapter 32 and verse 24. Read. Uh -huh. He that believeth in the Lord. He that what? He, he that, that believeth in the Lord. Lord. Read. Take heed to the commandment. Right. And he that trusted in him. Shall fare never the worse. So faith is when you actually walk in the ways of the Lord and take heed to his commandments. 
Because let me tell you something. Like I said all the time, atheists don't do nothing that the Lord say do. That's right. And neither do Christians, to be honest. That's right. Well, that's not true. Christians keep Christmas just like atheists. Christians eat pork just like atheists. Right. Christians don't keep the Sabbath day like atheists. Right. They do the same thing non-believers do. Right. But the true followers of Christ will keep the ways of Christ. They will keep his commandment because they believe in him and they will walk in his ways and do the things he commanded them to do. Read what's going to happen in the last days. Luke 6 and 46. And why call me? Be Lord, Lord. Why call me what? Lord, Lord. Uh -huh. And do not the things which I say. So a lot of people call the name, call on the name of the Lord and don't do nothing that he say do. It's pointless. James 2 and 17. Oh, read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. Not everyone oh, this is a cold one. who calls out to hey, me, me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Read. Right. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Now let's see what the will of our Father in heaven is. Read Psalms 40 and 8. Right, I'm going to show the will, then we'll go back to it. Psalms 40 and 8. Uh -huh. I delight to do thy will, uh -huh. oh my God. Uh -huh. Yea, thy Lord. Thy what? Thy Lord. What's the will of God? Thy Lord uh -huh. is within my heart. So the will of God is within our heart. Read it again. Not everyone who calls on me, Lord, Lord. Will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. Only those who actually do the will of my father. The law. And also in the law it tells you to believe on Christ. Don't it? Uh -huh. Deuteronomy 18, 18, right? Uh -huh. Right. In heaven will enter. On judgment day. Uh -huh. Many will say to me. Uh -huh. Lord, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. We we prophesied in your name uh -huh. and cast out devils in your name uh -huh. and perform many miracles Read. in your name. Read. But I will reply. What are you going to say? I never knew you. I what? I, I never, never knew, knew you. What do you mean to know God? Right? Get away from me, you who break God's law. You who what? Break God's law. Oh. So the people who break God's law, Christ read, let it go say, get away from me. I don't know you. Right? What do it mean to know God? First, three. first John chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And hereby we do know that we know him. How do you know you know God? If we keep his commandments. If we what? If we keep his commandments. The whole book about keeping the commandments of God and faith in Christ. Right. From the beginning to the end, it's about keeping that. Right. This is the yes, ma'am. Go ahead. My name is Aharon. Aharon. Yes, ma'am. Ask you this, though. Yes, ma'am. Ask your question. Y'all didn't answer my question. We ain't your question. Because no, I asked you, how did y'all know? Uh, I know about Judah, okay, Black Americans, but how how did you come about knowing where the other tribes actually landed? And and are you saying that the tribe that uh, Israel that's in the I'm land not, today? I got you. I got you. I got you. Not, Get it? Yep. Yeah. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 111 and verse number 10. Okay. And it reads, 17. And it reads, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. A good hold on, hold on. The fear of the Lord is what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hey, I'm sorry. Can you get what it means to fear God real quick? God. I got you. Shout right to him. You got one? Yes. Yeah, so hold on. We're going back to this. We ain't finished with it. Hold on. Sister Kim. You got it? Yeah. Okay. That's going to yeah. answer this question. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1, 111 and verse number 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. No, 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 no. So I read 2 and 15. It's like it. That's what he was reading out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So uh -huh. if you want wisdom, okay. understanding, of course. Of course. right? So I read chapter 2 and 15. 2 and verse number 15. Mm -hmm. They that fear the Lord. This is what I mean to fear God. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Right. And they that love him will keep his ways. Uh-huh. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Uh-huh. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. With the what? With the law. If you love God and you fear God, you're going to keep the laws of God. Read it. The fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of wisdom. So if you keep the laws of God, that's the beginning of your wisdom and your understanding, right? A good understanding. If you want a good understanding, have all day. 
That what? That do his commandments. That do his what? That do his commandments. If you want to have a correct and accurate understanding, you have to start doing his commandments. Precept. If not, you're never going to understand. That's, that's just what it is. Y'all preach up. Yep. Job, Job, chapter 28, Job, verse 28. And unto man he said, uh -huh. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Uh -huh. And to depart from evil. From what? Depart from evil. They're going to call good evil and evil good, which is not keeping the law. That's evil. Is understanding. Is what? Is understanding. Right? Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. Uh -huh. For that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent. Read what? Repent. Read what? Repent. Uh -huh. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent from your sins, and sin is when you break the law of God. So repent from breaking the laws of God. God, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. Just like the, my question, I answered your question. The best thing I did. You worried about something when you should be worried about your salvation. I am that's what I. That's what I answered. I, I, I am saying I ain't worried about. You're God. saved in the scripture. Yes, saying you have to endure to the end. I'll pray to the Most High. How you doing, sister? How y'all doing? All right. How you doing? What's your name? I'm excited. What you excited about? I love what y'all doing. What we doing? Speaking facts. Yeah, okay. Who the word of God say you are? Yeah, who, who God say you are? I'm the righteousness of my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Well, you're the righteousness of your Lord Jesus Christ. Who did he name those righteous people? What did he name? Exodus. Like people in the Bible. Yeah, who the people in the Bible? Who, hey, I got a better question. Who are the children of the people in the Bible? That's a better question, right? Ooh. Who is the children of Moses? Who is the children of Moses? Yeah, you say you said Moses, so who is the children? The people in the Bible. So who are the people in the Bible? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Joshua. Joshua. Uh huh. James. Uh huh. Yep. Matthew, Zechariah, Jeremiah, Isaiah. Deborah, right? Who are they? What are they? Na what's their nationality? Mm. What's their nationality? What's their God given nationality? What did the Lord call them? What did the Lord call them? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Y'all got some? Yeah. What you got? Exit four. Let's see. Let's see what the Lord God called those people in the Bible that you read about. This is the book of Exodus, chapter four and verse twenty-two. Uh -huh. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith who? Thus saith the Lord. Read. Israel is my son, uh -huh. even my firstborn. So those people that you read about descend from the twelve tribes of Israel, right? So what I'm asking you are, who are they children? No, ma'am, that is frankincense and mercy. You need book of Matthew two and eleven. Uh, so the so my question is, if they are the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel, who are the people? Who are they children today? Where are they today? Because the reason why I ask you that, because you have these people that call themselves Jewish nowadays, right? And they claim that they descend from the people of the book. So what I'm asking you is, who are the children of this book? Who was this book written by and written to and written for? Right? Huh? Hold on. That's what I'm asking. Do you know? Let me show you something that the Lord say will happen to his children. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 65 and 15. I'm going to show you a couple of things the Lord say will happen to his children, right? Because they were this because the children is in the scripture, they was always disobedient, right? Yeah. Always doing something they had no business, right? Right, right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 26. Uh -huh. you know, I said, I will scatter them into corners. Into what? Into, into corners. corners. So the Lord said, I'm gonna scatter them into corners. When you read the scriptures, he said, I'm gonna scatter you into all nations of the earth. The children of Israel, right? Read. I will make the remembrance of them to cease. To what? To, to cease uh -huh. from among men. And they won't remember who they are anymore. Give me the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And you shall leave your name for a curse. You shall what? You shall leave your name for a curse. So the Lord said, your name is Israel, right? Because he named Jacob to Israel. And all his children are called Israel. Israelites, 12 trials, right? 
But he says you're going to leave your name for a curse, right? You shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. Right? And you're going to leave your name for a curse. Meaning you're not going to be called Israel anymore. You're going to be called things like black. Mm. Yeah. Right? Which is, they, they just upgraded and made it worse. But we think it's better. First they called us colored, right? Yeah. Now they're describing the color, right? But we ain't even accurate color. You brown. You like a brown skinned woman to me, right? I see a couple of brothers got tints of brownish red, brownish yellow. Brother here, yellow. You know what I'm saying? All the people that I see look brown to me, but yet our oppressors called this black, and we just ran with it. Yep, I'm black. Yeah. Our oppressors called this African American, which is named after two white men, right? That's not our identity. That's not our identity. But the Lord said, "You will leave your name." For a curse, the Lord said, "You will not remember your name." Right? right? Read. Give me what you got. Uh, Give me Isaiah one and three. Right. This is the book of Jeremiah seventeen and verse four. Mm -hmm. And thou, even thyself, even you, what's that mean? Janisha. Sister Janisha. All right, I got you. Shall discontinue from thy inheritance. From your what? From thy inheritance. inheritance. So the Lord is telling that the children of Israel will discontinue from their heritage. What are some things that are part of your heritage today? And so called black people. What's our heritage? Rap music, Cardi B, hip hop? Huh? Huh? Watermelon. Watermelon. You, well, everybody else got a heritage. You know why? I'm going to give you an example. Chinese man, his heritage is uh, Mandarin. Ain't that what yeah. they speak? Yeah. What language they speak? What language do we speak? What language did we speak? Because I don't look like an Englishman. Do I? I'm not an Englishman. I'm British. I'm not. Am I British? <laughs> no. So what language did we speak? Uh, That's part of your heritage. The Chinese man got their heritage. The Asian people got their heritage. The white man got his heritage. The Lord said, you're going to lose your heritage. The Chinese man keep uh, the year of the dog, right? The white man keep Christmas and Thanksgiving and Fourth of July, right? What about us? What are our, what are our high holy days? That would be part of our heritage, right? How do we dress? What language we spoke? The things we did, right? How do we act amongst each other? Right? What was our? Uh, uh, how do we make our money, our living? What do we do? The Lord said you will discontinue from your heritage, and what else? That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -oh. in a land which thou knowest not. So the Lord said you're gonna serve your enemies in a land you do not know, Israel, and you're gonna lose your heritage in the process. How do they? How do you lose your heritage in the process? I'll give an example. I know you're saying roots probably if not. Got a man named Kofi Kente, right? <laughs> and they and they put him on that post. Bah! What's your name, boy? Kofi. Kofi. Your name, Toby, right? Get that baby, pull that baby from that mama, send that baby to another plantation. That baby not gonna know where he came from, right. what his mama was, who his daddy was. You gonna know, discontinue from your heritage by serving your enemies in a land that you did not know, according to the Most High God, mm -hmm. right? Let me show you this. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 6, uh, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Deuteronomy 28, 6, the ox knoweth his owner. The ox know who his owner is. Right. And the ass his master's crib. His crib. An uh, ass, a donkey, know where his house at. Or his home at. Right? Read. But Israel. Wait, who? But Israel. Uh -huh. Israel does not know. Where are we from? Oh. Yeah, where are we from? What the Lord said. Where are we from? Because the Lord say a donkey know where he's from. But hold on, don't go nowhere yet. Don't go nowhere yet. Galatians 4 26. The ox knoweth this owner and the master's cast his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. Do we consider where we come from? Do we know where we come from, Sister Janisha? Bless you. Do you know where you come from? Yes. You do? Do you consider where you come from? Do we as a whole know where we come from and consider where we come from? Do we? Africa, that's a continent. A lot of people come from there. No, no. A lot of people come from there. It's like. Well, everybody is a descendant of Adam and Eve. They still know where they come from. White people come from the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah. Right? 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 In Georgia, Russia? Right? And everybody know where they come from except for us. The Lord said the children of Israel don't know where their home is and they don't even consider. They just live their life in America going. Uh, YOLO. Right. <laughs> right. We only live once. Yeah. It is what it is. We got that is what it is attitude. 
We got that is what it is attitude. Go ahead. Hey, give me the book of Isaiah 54 and 4. Let me see that. Yeah, let me get that. Uh, Isaiah 54 and 4. Let me see. Mm. 52 and 4. Let me see that. 52 and 4. Uh. Yeah, five. Verse five. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-two, and verse five. Look, the Lord said we will, we will serve our enemies in the land we didn't know. Watch this, and let's see what these enemies gonna do to us. Now, therefore, what have I here? Saith the Most High, right? That my people is taken away for not. Is what is taken away for not? Well, were we taken away? That's right. We weren't taken away. No, How no, we no. get to America? We weren't taken away. Stole oh. our land. We was, right? So he said, my people are taken away. Right, Reed? My people are taken away uh -huh. for not. Uh -huh. They that rule over them. Do we have people that rule over us? Right? They that rule over them, make them to howl. Make them to what? Make them to howl. Uh -huh. Say it the most high. Hey, and that's why we out here screaming Black Lives Matter. Yeah. That's why people had the Million Man March with Dr. Martin Luther King. That's why people do such things. Because the people that rule over us, Make us how they are grievous unto us, right? Is it grievous to pick cotton sun up to sundown? Yeah. That's grievous, right? Go to the room 28. What you got, 15? Uh, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 15. 21. So we're going gonna to show you something that the Lord said. Without a shadow of a doubt, it will show you who you are. Because God made every nation on earth. Surely he didn't call you black, Afro-American, Afro-Asiatic. Black color, Negro, or black, right? right? We don't see what the women of God are called. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse number one. Oh. And this shall come to pass mm -hmm. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all His commandments, some of His commandments, all, all His, his commandments, commandments which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Yeah. Above all nations of the earth. So the Lord says to the children of Israel, if you keep all my commandments, I'm going to set you on high above all nations. But, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. If thou will not hearken. If you do not listen. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To observe to do all his commandments. Uh -huh. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what, all, all these, these curses, curses mm -hmm. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, I'm going to curse you if you don't keep my commandments. But if you keep my commandments, I'm going to bless you and put you above all nations. Right? So he told the children, I'll put you on the top. I'm going to put you on the bottom. It's your choice whether you keep my commandments or you don't. Right? What you think the children of Israel did? Give me Daniel 9 and uh, 9, 9 and 10. Hope they follow. Yeah. You hope they follow? Right. Well, if I'm telling you we the children of Israel, you think we follow? Mm. Do we look like we follow what we're supposed to do? <laughs> How many of our people do what they're supposed to do? <laughs> is, that, is that something we do? Hello? Yeah, I'm going to do the right thing today, brother. <laughs> nah, read that. This uh, is the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, right? To walk in his law, uh -huh. which he sent before us by the servants of God. Uh -huh. Yea, all Israel. Oh, some of Israel. All uh, Israel. Uh -huh. Have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by the party, uh -huh. that they might not obey the voice of Obey thy voice. Uh -huh. Therefore, the curse. The what? The, the curse. curse. The what? The, the curse, curse uh -huh. is poured upon us. So God chose the people, said, I love these people more than everybody. They my special holy people, yet they are cursed. Right? What do you think those curses look like? No, sins is what get us the curse. Mm. Right? The way we live, that's the curse. Right? I'm going to show you. What you got? This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. Yeah. And the curse shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses will be on you for a sign. What is a sign? A sign. A sign is an indicator. Yeah, I know I'm on, uh, where we at? Le Lamar and LeBrant. Because the sign say Lamar and LeBrant. I'm so interested. Do y'all have like a social? 
Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. See that? I'll pray. I'll pray. I'll pray. I'll pray. So, 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 the curses will be a sign. I know I'm on Lamar LeBranch because the signs say that. Yeah. So, these curses will be a sign to the children of Israel. Read. And they, the curse shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Huh? And upon thy seed forever. No, just then. Upon thy seed forever. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Uh -huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. In thirst. And in nakedness. So the Lord said we're going to serve our enemies in hunger. And thirst. And in nakedness. Food. Water. Clothing. We're going to have to go to them. We're not going to have any of these things to own for ourselves. And even if we do own a black owned business. We got to go to them again. Right? Read. And in want of all things. Everything we need, we got to go to these people. In right? want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. And this enemy is going to put a, what a, what a iron there? What is it? Oh, it's right there. If you Google yoke of iron, we the only people pop up. It says these people we're going to serve are going to put a yoke of iron on our neck. Give me verse 16. Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 16. Uh, cursed shall thou be in a city. In the what? In, in the, the city. city. So the Lord said you're going to be cursed in the city. Black Lives Matter, segregation, getting yeah. lynched, the all these things. Oh, black on black crime, yeah. all that. You're going to live back in the ghettos. Every city in the world, you find black people, it might be a few of us that make it, but as a whole, we all live in the ghetto. Every city. Right? Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. And curse shall not be in the field. In the what? In, in the, the field. field. In the cotton field from sun up to sundown. In the tobacco field from sun up to sundown. In the sugar cane field from sun up to sundown getting beat. I'm mean, into the haymaker. 68, because I know y'all got to go. 68. Deuteronomy 28. Is that you can say it only affects us. But I know y'all on the time. So I'm going to read y'all this one. And then give me, uh, give me uh, Matthew 19, 17. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again. Uh, what? A slavery again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get to America? How do we get to the Caribbeans? Go ahead. Go ahead. The ships. So who the Lord talking to? He talking to us, right? But he called these people the children of Israel. The Lord shall do what? Thou shalt bring thee into slavery again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Just like I said it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And you're not going to see your homeland no more again. Y'all see your homeland again? Okay. And there. And where? And there. Uh -huh. Ye shall be sold. Hold up. Look at that sign right there by that little yellow book. Right no, no, no. That one right there. That one right there. Oh, this one. What that say? No, no. That right next to it. What that say at the top? To be what? Be and you shall be what? You shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemy uh -huh. for slave man and slave woman. So the Lord said, you get off those, you're going to go into slavery on ships. And when you get off those ships, you're going to be sold. He didn't say white man. He said, what did he say? Your enemy. Your what? Your enemy. So the Lord called the white man your woman. I didn't like that. It's in the Bible. That's right. Y'all ever been to church? Y'all pastor showed y'all that. Uh -uh. He ought to be ashamed of himself. You know why? Because he don't know. I didn't know about this. You ain't know about that? No. Now you know. Yeah. So who the Lord talking to? Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Deuteronomy 29 and 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses. Oh, we, we, we them children of Moses. The children of Israel. To make with the children of Israel. Yeah. With the children of Israel. We them ancient holy people. Right? We waiting on the Lord to come save us now. But it's yeah, yeah. This last last two, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Matthew 19, 17. Matthew 19, start at 17. 16. Verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, mm -hmm. what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Uh -huh. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? <laughs> there is none good but one that is. God. That is so. That, that is God. God. That is so. That, that is God. God. Read. Really? But if thou wilt enter into life, do y'all want to turn a life, Sister Janisha and Mama? You you want to have that turn a life? Well, he says if you want eternal life, right? 
and he ain't got it yet, but if you want it, it's something you gotta do. Right? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. How many commandments are there? No. Is rape in the twelve? Huh? Is rape in the twelve? No. Well, that's a thirteen oh, already. <laughs> Right? So we got a lot of commandments, a lot of things we have to do and learn and apply to our life. Right? So if you want eternal life, you have to believe in Christ and keep the commandments of God. Revelation 14 and 12. All right, that's it. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 14. Listen at this one, Mama. Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 12. Uh huh. Here, here is the patience of the saint. Here's the what? The patience of the saints. Sister Janice, I got news for you. You're a saint. Whether you know it or not, the children of Israel are the saints. Did you know that? I'm going to show you. You so, showed me that? Psalms, what, 147. All right. Okay, okay. Either one. Okay. Either one. I'm going to show you who the saints are. Because everybody want to be a saint, but everybody ain't no saint. It is what it is. So it said, here's the patience of the saints. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147. Uh, 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 148. 148. 148 and, 14, and 14. verse 14. Yeah. No, that's not it. That ain't 148. That ain't 148. The 148 right here. Right here. Psalms 148 and 14. He exalted. He also exalted the horn of his people. Of his who? Of his people. Who is his people? Who is his people? Who is the people? Yeah. Yeah, who the people of God? It tells you. It's, it's, all right. He also exalted the horn of his people. Uh -huh. The praise of all his saints. Of all his what? Of all his saints. Of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. The who? The children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the saints of the Most High. So our patience is what? Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of God uh -huh. and the faith of Jesus. And the what? And the, the faith, faith of, of Jesus. Jesus. They got to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Right? Y'all want to learn a couple commandments of God? Did it not in the 10? Right? All right. Give me, give me, give me a couple commandments. Give me a couple commandments. Give me a... Uh, yeah, what you got? Leviticus. He got Leviticus. Uh, you we'll we'll teach all day. We'll do. Yeah, <laughs> Leviticus chapter eleven and verse number seven. Uh -huh. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. What swine? Uh huh? What'd you, What'd you say? I'm sorry. I can't remember. Oh, hold on. Oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, we don't mind. We don't mind. Go ahead. And the swine. Though he divided the hook. Okay. And be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he chose not to cut. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. Swine is pork. One of the commandments of God is no pork on your mind, no pork on your fork, no swine on your mind. No more pork. That's one of the commandments of God, right? Of the flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. They are what? They are unclean to you. Pork, the Lord said pork is unclean to you. That's why we suffer from high blood pressure and cholesterol problems and all that, right? This brother gonna finish bringing it out to you, right? And with that, quote me on Charlotte! Quote me on Charlotte!